Today in this video, I'm going to give you a typical double check backflow installation in the state of Texas in 2022. Let me show you something. Kelly Staggs here, American Irrigator, trying to make you a better irrigator. I've been a licensed irrigator in the state of Texas for about 14 years. Been installing irrigation systems for 15, 16 years. I now want to take that experience, the knowledge, the tips and tricks, the things that I've learned over the years, and I want to share them with you. That, that way they can help you in your irrigation career or even as a DIY homeowner. Consider subscribing and give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Now what you see here is a two inch double check backflow. And this is a typical installation, what you're gonna see in the state of Texas in 2022. Now one of the main differences is a few years ago they changed the rules to where you don't need a Y strainer before the double check. And so that's one of the things you see that's different here from some of my other videos that I've done several years ago. And so that's one of the changes that, that happened. You don't have to have a Y strainer before a double check backflow in the state of Texas. So it makes the installation a little bit easier. It's just one less component that you have to worry about. One of the things that's still the same though is you see I've got a ball valve as my shutoff valve before the double check now this is something that you're going to want to make sure you always do regardless so this is a this is a good thing to do but it's something that you have to have the rules say that you have to have that like the situation we have here we, we're coming straight off of a water meter so it's got a shut off valve before the water meter we come out and then we go into our backflow and, but we've got our other shut off valve right before that backflow device now there was some guys saying well you don't need this extra shut off valve because the valve shutoff valve to the water meter can act as your shutoff because there's it's not running anything else other than this irrigation system. That does bring up a good point. Why do you need two shutoff valves? But I will say this, sometimes the shutoff valves for the meter are either really deep or they require a special type of tool or key. And so having this shutoff valve, simple ball valve right before it, it's right here. It makes it a whole lot easier to shut the water off right there if you need to work on this double check or anything like that. And so even if there was an argument on if you need it or not, I would recommend putting it in anyway. Now, of course, the rules say you've got to have it in and you're not going to pass inspection without it right now. But it's a good thing to have because you're going to have to at some point need to shut off the water to work on this double check or replace it if it breaks. You know, there's all kinds of things of why you need to shut the water off. So make sure you always have that shut off valve before your backflow device. Now you can see I've got a box that's turned upside down and just my personal preference, I usually take the lid off. Some guys leave the lid on there. I just don't like how it collects water. And I had some guys, well, drill holes in all the little squares of the top and that's something that you could do. But I like, I like to take that lid off the bottom, flip this box upside down. You can also put some rock in there, but it gives you good clearance and no, no dirt is gonna end up coming in and collecting around this double check. Then I'll take our other box and it sits perfectly on there. Got the notched out there. And this is what it'll look like inside the two boxes. It's a very clean installation. So it keeps all the dirt from collecting around here. We've got our, sh our shut off valves on the double check that are easy to get to and replace if you need to. Test cocks are coming up, so it's easy to test this device. Just a good, simple, clean installation of a double check backflow. Before I cover all this up, I set this top on there. I make sure I tape up all the holes and I actually tape the two boxes together. That way when I cover this up, it doesn't move around or anything like that. And it really helps seal all this off so no dirt gets in there. Check out this playlist right here for more irrigation installation tips.